Let's get started with Jeremy in Saskatchewan, Canada. Jeremy, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. How are you today? Jeremy, I'm living the dream. How are you? I'm good. Thanks very much. Thanks for taking my call. You bet. Uh, it's a dream of mine one day to do uh, business and lifestyle consulting or coaching. Mm-hmm. And my career to this point has been spent in education, mm-hmm. mainly as a high school teacher, not mm-hmm. necessarily in business. And so I just kind of was wondering what you would maybe suggest as some next steps for me towards pursuing a dream yeah. of being involved in that kind of career. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Have you done any research on the qualifications, which is really stage two? You're you're in stage one. You're clear. The question is, are you qualified, which is stage two? Have you done the research on what it takes to kind of a baseline to get into that space? I think what it would be would be an MBA, to be honest with you. Okay. You know that or you think that? Uh, I think that. I kind of like, uh, I had a little bit of a process where I kind of wrote down everything that would be involved in like my dream job. Right. And I looked at the list and said, man, I have no credentials for anybody to kind of listen to me in any of you days. But then I kind of had this, I had this thing where it was just like, well, if I had the MBA credential, I feel like all of these could maybe open up maybe maybe. Those elements of that job. maybe i'm curious can you just give me you don't have to run through the entire list unless yep. you got it in front of you can you just run through that list because i think that's a great exercise who man well i guess just really working with um like part of the list would be working with business people i guess small business um but business in general um particularly kind of helping them walk through a process to um if they're ever in a position where you know, things aren't what they hope they'd be. They have a vision, they have a dream, and they just kind of maybe have a, they feel stuck. Or okay. it could be the other end of the spectrum where they're just getting going and just helping them walk through a process uh, to help them realize the dream or the vision that they have in their heart. Okay. And that could be same too on the lifestyle side of it. It's just, it's, uh, it's similar maybe to what you even do with helping people find their dream career. It's just okay. I have a vision, I have a dream, and kind of walk through that okay. process with them. Now, on the business side, tell me who that ideal client is. Is it, is it an entrepreneur, small business owner? Is it also uh, somebody who's just a professional? Tell me, who, who, who's that ideal client? Uh, I guess in my mind, I typically see small business, uh, small business owners. Okay, great. All right, so here's my take. I don't think an MBA is bad, but I don't think an MBA is anywhere near as valuable as you actually working in a small business and working for somebody that runs a small business. I think that's the experience people want. You know, I'm not going to hire a coach um, necessarily who doesn't have some experience being in the environment. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, for instance, Mm -hmm. I would not hire a coach, uh, a line coach for my son uh, or a quarterback coach for my other son, if they had not played the position, or if they hadn't played the position, did they coach the position? You see what I'm saying? So I think the yep. real life experience, and you know the list. You already made the mm-hmm. list. Good on you, by the way. I think that's an yep. awesome thing that you've done. I think you need to look at the list and go, how can I get real life experience on that list? That's going to make you way more attractive and valuable to people so the mba eh, it's to me it's kind of extra but if an mba is all earned in the classroom makes sense sure and i guess the other element to it is is i feel like i guess one of the areas where this whole dream started for me was i do have some experience in educational administration which did involve some business elements okay good good all right do you think that administration translates at all yes i do i think you still still should be involved in business i i want you to get some business experience to the extent that you can you know maybe you consult for free just to kind of get your you know your chops kind of going there but yes your experience in leadership in the education field is transferable yes um I, here's my point. You get what I'm saying. I, I just don't think the MBA is as valuable valuable as you think. I mean, at the end of the day, you want to be a business coach and a life yeah. coach. Is that right? Both kind of have a little yeah. bit of both going yeah. on? For sure. Yeah. yeah. Anybody needs help. Yeah. All right. Listen, here's what I want. Um, I want you to uh, hold for just a minute and talk to Madison very briefly. Uh, and I want to make sure that, Madison, we, we get Jeremy's information 
we are uh, in the early days of doing a lot of research and we might have some opportunities for you as the Ken Coleman show expands the army uh, from just one man here on the show to life and career coaches. So uh, there's a tease. But I'd like to have Jeremy's information and Madison knows what to do with that. 